Hey y'all, it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are trying five different brands of plus size denim shorts. So what inspired this video is an article that I spotted on a website called Who, What, Where. Granted, that article was from 2018, but basically what they did was compile a list of five brands that sell really great plus size denim shorts, basically saying, hey, these are the ones that you need for the summer. I did search and see if I could find an updated article from Who, What, Where for 2019. Couldn't find it. So what I did was purchase a pair of denim shorts from each of those brands. However, a couple of them, um, the shorts were sold out, no longer in stock, or they didn't carry my size. So we made some adjustments, but if you want to see me try on a pair of shorts from all of these brands, then keep watching. So the very first style that Who What Wear lists are ASOS Curve Collection, and they're these like high rise denim mom shorts. I was able to find these. So I grabbed mine in a size 22. They're these really cute like cuffed, no distressing high waisted jeans. They were 45 bucks. I paid like 52 with tax and shipping and everything. This comes out to a UK size 26. So I did try these on for your viewing pleasure. So let's get into the try on portion. So I wasn't sure about ASO sizing. So I sized up, I always size up in shorts because I am a little more bottom heavy. Um, so I grabbed these in a US 22, but I don't think, I mean, they're comfortable, but I've got quite a bit of space here. Um, they're also a little bit big in the legs back here, but I think these are their like mom rise. So they're super high. My belly button is here. So probably an inch. I like the wash of them. I like the cuff, all of that. I just think that um, I could have probably gotten away with probably a 20. I don't think an 18 would have fit. But yeah, I probably could have gotten away with a 20 and then I would love these. These are like the perfect high rise. There's no distressing on them anywhere. So I do like them. Yeah. I may exchange it. That's what the back looks like. So the next pair of shorts listed are from Good American. Saying that name hurts my wallet. Like these shorts were $139. Okay, so the exact shorts that were listed on Who What Wears website are the high waist denim boyfriend shorts, $155. However, I couldn't find those. So I ended up grabbing, what are they called? They're called the Bombshell Short. They were $139, again, a size 22. But look at all of this distressing. How fun is that? I love shorts with distressing on them. I think that these are so cute. However, $139 is a lot of money, but these feel like really good quality. So I have really high hopes for these shorts because they are Good American. The only thing I've ever put on my body from Good American in the past were a pair of jeans and they were amazing. I didn't keep them because they were so expensive. So yes, I paid quite a bit of money for these shorts, but I thought they were so cute on the website. Okay, so these button all the way up. Oh, it's like it blocks it with this little piece of fabric. So I think that's cute. They are high waisted. My belly button's here, so probably an inch, inch and a half. I don't think that these fit me how the jeans do. You can see a little bit of gapping in the back there, but I don't know if a size smaller would be comfortable. I love all of this distressing. However, look how high that comes up. I mean, those are like underwear right there. So yeah, I think a size smaller, you would be able to see underwear for sure. And I don't know if the waistband would feel so nice. Like it's just, these are so comfortable and they're not super short. This is a little bit weird right here, to be honest. Like, I almost want to just cut that off myself. I don't know. I mean, I know they're meant to be like distressed and stuff. So here's what they look like from the back. I would rather them be loose like this than tight, to be honest. This is way more comfortable to me than something that's like super snug. All right, so what do we think about these? Moving along to Slink Jeans. I own one pair of Slink Jeans brand. I believe they're boyfriend jeans and I really do love them. They are pricey as well. So these are called the Curvy Cutoff Denim Shorts, 59 bucks. So really not a bad price. These are the exact ones that were listed on the Who What Wear website as well. I like this little bit of like 
raw hem, but it's not like, it doesn't look like I cut it myself. You know, it's a little bit more structured than that. These again in a size 22, they're a little bit short, which I appreciate, good quality again. So overall, I do like these. Okay, so these are cute, I do like these. I like this little bit at the bottom, it's a little bit different. It doesn't look like there's any distressing on them, which I like. I mean, you can only have so many shorts with distressing, so many without, so these don't have it. <laughs> um, they're a little bit um, below my belly button. My belly button is probably right here. You can kind of see it there. Um, so they are a little bit below the belly button. They've got this little bit of a slit right here. And here's what we look like from the back. I feel like this dark type denim is very flattering. These feel really, really nice. I believe these were like the second most expensive shorts that I ordered, so obviously I would like all the ones that are like hundreds of dollars. Um, so I do like these. I think that these are very flattering. I think they're very comfortable. I think they're good for summertime. Um, so yeah, that's it. I like these too. Now we're going to move on to the Levi shorts. That's the next brand that they list. Um, they list um, a couple different pairs of shorts. I guess because the article was from 2018, I couldn't find any of those. So the only pair of shorts I was able to find in a size 22 on Levi's website, the entire website, these shorts. So one pair of shorts in the size that I needed on their website. These are, again, very much a raw hem. I guess that's like in right now maybe that's what's popular um these fit really well though they are a little bit longer good quality again these are called the drive me crazy plus size new shorts they were 41.98 i hit a sale i'm pretty sure but with tax and shipping they were 49.93 they're just a little bit longer they still have that raw hem a little bit of distressing they zip and button they don't have the buttons all the way up and my belly button is sitting right here so they're just below my belly button these feel good. I kind of feel like these suck everything in a little bit, and I appreciate that. I do like the length on these. They're a tad bit long for my liking, but then again, I don't want anything super short. I'm very um, hard to please in the shorts department, um, but these are nice. I feel like these probably fit true to size. If you're looking for something with a little bit of a raw hem, you could also roll these if you wanted something rolled and make them a little bit shorter. Here's a look at the back. These are nice. These feel good. And the very last brand is Lucky Brand. However, I couldn't find my size in their plus size shorts. They only sell three styles on the entire website of plus size denim shorts. All three were sold out in my size. So what I did was just purchase these denim shorts that I've had in my Torrid cart for a very long time. Finally bit the bullet, they button all the way up. Again, another raw hem. These are extra short. Just holding them up, I can tell that they're real short. These are called the three and a half high rise short Cloverdale button. I guess that means those are these buttons that come up the front. These were also on sale for $31.43, regular price $44.90. Tax and shipping, I paid $39.95. So these are short. I don't know what I expected. I mean, they looked short on the model, but they're almost like a little bit uncomfortable short to me. I love the button all the way up the front. I think that's very flattering. I think it's cute. I like the little bit of distressing. Um, it's not too much, like too crazy, where I feel like you can see underwear or skin where I don't want skin to be seen. The only negative thing is that they're short. I mean... I don't know, a little bit short for me, a little bit uncomfortable. I've said this before, I prefer my shorts, if they're gonna be this short, I don't want them like snug material, I would rather them be loose. That just makes me feel a little bit more comfortable. So, here we go. What do we think? And I think it's only fair to throw in a wild card because my last video was an Inside the Dressing Room at Rue 21, and I ended up keeping these denim shorts, they're in a size, 20 they're called the mid-rise shorty they were on sale for 12 dollars and these might be my favorite shorts that i've ever tried on they're not snug they're um, a little bit low rise they have a little bit of distressing they're not tight in the waist or anything like i don't know i just love shorts like this yes they're a little bit short but it's summertime and i know that i'll get a lot of wear out of these on vacation plus twelve dollars i mean you can't beat 12 bucks i do know that rue 21 sells straight sizes and plus sizes 
According to the website, as of when I'm filming this video, there's only sizes, I believe, 14 and 16 left in these shorts, but I grabbed them in a 20, so I feel like you could probably size down if you did like them. Um, but yeah, these are probably my favorite, and you can't beat 12 bucks. So now let's rate the shorts. If I had to rate my most favorite to least favorite, I would say favorite by far are the Good American Distress shorts. I think they're cute. I do think they're a little bit bigger in the waist than I would like, but they fit everywhere else. So a size smaller would just, they, they wouldn't give me the effect that I wanted with those shorts. My next favorite, I'm gonna go with those slink jean shorts, the Nordstrom ones, or the ones that I got from Nordstrom. Um, I think that they're really cute with the no distressing, they're a great length. Then I would have to go with Torrid because I really like the button up all the way. They're third place because they are just a little bit short. Next, let's go with the ASO shorts. I know they were a couple sizes too big, but had they been in the right size, I think I would really like them. So I may actually exchange those for a couple sizes smaller and see how they fit. Last place, we're gonna go with the Levi's. Um, I just don't know if they were that flattering on me, they were a little bit long. So those are my top five based on these five brands that I tried. If I can find these online, which shouldn't be a problem, I will link them in the description box down below. Hopefully it helped y'all um, kind of explore some brands that maybe you've been wanting to try and haven't actually tried. And I feel like it's a good range, um, like the $12 shorts all the way up to those good American ones, I believe are the most expensive at $139. So there's a really big um, or a good range in price, um, depending on how much you want to spend. I typically try to stay on the lower end because I get new shorts every season. Um, so had they had a couple more colors of those $12 ones, I would have grabbed those. All right, so that's a wrap on this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you want me to try another five brands, um, then let me know, comment, and let me know the brands that you're interested in, and we can most certainly do that. So thanks for watching again. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.